Welcome to Hornbill TV. I'm Lishini Chaste. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma and Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma will meet Home Minister Amit Shah on Thursday and are expected to submit recommendations to resolve the border dispute between the two states during the meeting. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma has confirmed that the meeting will be held in Delhi after 6 p.m. sources said. He also added the recommendations of the regional committees of Meghalaya and Assam government would be forwarded to the Union Minister of the Home Affairs for further action. According to the program, the boundary demarcation is anticipated to be done after the due procedure in the parliament. The Survey of India would also be a part of the necessary examination. To talk more on this issue, we have my colleagues Esther and Sir Pito, and also a senior journalist from Guwahati, Vikas Singh, to talk more about this. So, uh, to, to get straight into the discussion, uh, starting with you, Esther, can you please give us more update uh, on what is the meeting and what is the stand of the two states and this? Uh, so today, uh, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya and the Chief Minister of Assam is they are meeting the uh, Home Minister Amit Shah in Delhi, and they are in a meeting as we speak, I presume. So right now they have dispute in exactly twelve locations, and for the first phase, which is now, they will be discussing on six locations of the border. Now these. Six locations have 36 villages altogether, and uh, there are many, uh, you know, aspects to look at because uh, they have actually come to a amicable solution amongst themselves after a three regional committee was formed between the two states, and after their proposals were submitted for the six. Uh, disputed areas amongst the 12, they are in the Delhi right now meeting with the Home Minister Amit Shah. Back to you, Lishini. Okay, we are trying to connect uh, Vikas Singh, the senior journalist from Guwahati online, but there is a technical problem. And we are getting back to you, uh, Pito. So, sir, the, you know, Assam CM has stated about resolving uh, the disputes in six areas out of the 12 areas. So why has these six areas been chosen? Sir well, Pito. Uh, regarding this, uh, see, in, in notice states, where well, border issue has been there in uh, notice states, notice, notice in state for more than five decades. And it is very important to understand that uh, most of the states in Northeast were curved out of Assam. Since then, there have been a lot of uh, border issue has been there for more than five decades. And regarding, uh, uh, part in particular, with uh, Assam and Meghalaya border issue, which they, where they share about uh, 885 kilometers of border, uh, where uh, uh, it has been since uh, Meghalaya was curved out of Assam in 1971, there has been a border issue with uh, in between the As in between two states, Assam and Meghalaya. And regarding this in part in this issue in particular, there has been f for more than uh, uh, five six round of talks in CM level, and then uh, on 18th of January, where Himanda Biswa Sarma in his Twitter handle he stated that uh, six out of 12 points, 12 disputes points have been identified and they are moving on positive conclusion and as part of a home ministry they want to sort out uh, before the 50th year of statehood celebration of Meghalaya. So they have uh, 12 points of disputes where uh, it is especially uh, consists of uh, Garo Hills which uh, Meghalaya considers it is as a part of core part of Meghalaya state where the in on other hand, Assam state considered it as Mikir Hills, where they share uh, there in between they share about uh, 885 kilometers. So there are 12, there are 12 sites which have a dis which have disputes between two states, Meghalaya and Assam, and there have been no proper demarcation. Of, uh, despite of having demarcation, there have been no proper demarc demarcation, and there have been uh, border row issues for quite many. Uh, there have been quite many incidents between Meghalaya and Assam, and recently this border row issue again popped up after about two three years of gap, 
and then since then there are two go two governments from uh, of Meghalaya and Assam of chief minister level they will have they have been in talks uh, by forming three organizations to sort out the differences so 12 points of disagreements were peaked and of those disputes there of the disputes have been identified and out of 12 16 sites of disputes have been identified and regarding the same issue uh, it has it, it was discussed with all political parties in Assam where they all in one accord believe that this border issue with Meghalaya should be sorted out as early as possible so for which is why uh, today there is going to be meeting with uh, Amit Shah the Home Minister of India so six six dispute point merely uh, in the area of uh, uh, Mikir Hills, which uh, Assam considers it's a part of Assam, and the Garo Hills, which uh, uh, Meghalaya state considers it's a part of its territory. So, uh, so they have there are some villages, villagers, uh, villages like uh, in Kamrup, Kamrup rural areas, Kamrup, uh, uh, Kamrup metro. So these these are these are the parts where uh, there has been in dispute for quite a long time. Yes. Yes, Lashini. Okay. Uh, you know, Esther, coming back to you for the border dispute, uh, two CMs have actually uh, made a committee, three regional committees. So how are these committees contributing to solve this border dispute? Regional committees were formed. It wasn't just formed uh, overnight. Of course, there were discussions and it was uh, the committee members are uh, from both the states. And uh, of course, uh, they are all border uh, affairs uh, members and you know uh, these after long talks of the chief ministerial level as uh, our colleague Pito has just said many talks uh, b between the two chief ministers this committee was also formed and so they have basically made a lot of proposals and the Assam government has made an, a road map after looking at these proposals for an amicable solution. So after these proposals were given to the two chief ministers, the Assam government has made a road map uh, uh, for an amicable solution and they have taken this road map and the proposals to the center uh, to uh, give Amit Shah. So yes, uh, we do not know exactly what the proposals stand as of now, but it is for the six locations out, like locations out of the 12. So uh, yeah, uh, that is what where it stands right now. And of course, uh, today after their meeting, we will see the outcome exactly what these proposals were for the six uh, locations, because what we are hearing is for the six locations, uh, a total of 18.51 uh, square kilometer will go to Assam and 18.29 square kilometer will be for Meghalaya. That is what we have, Lishini. Back to you. Okay, coming to you, Pito. Yeah, so you have also seen that uh, Assam has been facing border disputes not only with Meghalaya but with also with other northeastern states and also as well as with the Nagaland state. So can you highlight something on the border dispute between the Nagaland and the Assam state? As I said earlier, uh, most of the states in northeast were curved, off, curved out of Assam states. Uh, post independence say ex for example um, Mizoram that was curved out of Assam, Meghalaya out of Assam and Nagaland out of Assam and there have been uh, those states who were who, who which were uh, curved out of uh, Assam there have been a border issue for since uh, inception of state and there have been no proper demarcation and coming back to Nagaland and Assam Nagaland border issue it is not uh, two, two three years all a border issue but as I say since the inception of Nagaland state there have been border row between Assam government and Nagaland government and in 1985 there, are, there, there was a war between uh, Assam and Nagaland that was called that, that is called as a uh, Merapani war where about 41 people of from the Assam side they were killed so uh, despite of having such, uh, this kind of uh, brutal incidents between two states, there have been no concrete solution to sort out the differences of those disputes. And coming back to recent incident there in Nagaland and Assam between Nagaland government and Assam, where uh, mm, there was Aosan then Aosan then and a Vikuto village of Nagaland side, where the Assam side considers it 
as their own territory and then uh, Nagaland considers their own territory the villages were recognized by government of Nagaland but it's the, but but again in other hand the, the there is also an administration administration of uh, Assam that that is still there in the action and post that incident between uh, between Assam government and uh, Nagaland government they had a meeting in uh, somewhere in August 21 to 2021 uh, where they set together to sort out differences, and uh, after 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 that very meeting, there there have been uh, status quo st status quo between the uh, Assam state government and Nagaland state government. So as I said, uh, uh, major major states in northeast were curved out of Assam. So it is very natural that uh, the when a state is curved up curved out of one state, there uh, there will be definitely be uh, border issues. And since then, there have not been any proper border issue uh, concerning Nagaland and Assam, uh, say Bokajan area, and then Bokajan area which falls under Assam, Newland area which falls under Nagaland. But in fact, there are several villages, uh, for about 40 to 50 villages belonging to Nagaland, uh, of Simi community of Nagas of Nagaland. Uh, they have established their deep within Assam, which Assam considers is their own. But however, however those villages are, have been recognized by government of Nagaland. Whereas uh, in Assam side as well, there are villages and Nagaland villages, they, they coexist. And uh, when it comes to administration, uh, Assam state, they administer their own villages. So as Nagaland state government, they administer the villages that, belong, that belongs to Nagaland. So there have been no proper demarcation of border between two states. And so as it, it goes with uh, Meghalaya and Assam, Mizoram and Assam, Arunachal and Assam. So the, the sole reason of all this border dispute between states and especially with Assam were because those states were curved out of Assam. And since post-independence from British area, uh, from British era, there have been no proper demarcation, which is why there have been several incidents where many lives have been lost, many incidents have taken place, and government have been trying uh, to sort out the differences, but uh, there have been no concrete solution for more than 50, uh, 50 years, yes, in the Northeast. Yes, uh, Pito, you also see that uh, the northeastern states have been facing these border disputes, and then it's been—it's not about coming up these days, but it's been a very long, decade-long, you know, uh, dispute. So, how do you think this should come to a conclusion right now? Do you think it can come to a conclusion, and how can it be done? See, it's not very practical when it comes to border issue because, as I said. Uh, just take an example between Gav Assam, Assam state and Nagaland state. It is there. It is the issue is so vexed that even the existence of villages of both sides they are vexed, interlink, and say there are villages belonging to Nagaland where the where power supplies are met by supplied by Nagaland government, and also from the Assam states the power supplies and all those uh, benefic uh, st st state governments beneficiaries were been uh, supplied by government of Na government of Assam in respective states. So it is a very vexed issue which will definitely take very very long time which has been in existence for more than five decades and again it will take uh, more than maybe uh, say 10 years or more. So th there can't be any concrete solution unless, unless and until there is a very strong diplomacy between the states. and. And in, in practical, not one of the state wants to sacrifice their inch of land. So as long as this kind of uh, stability or this kind of stubbornness exists, I don't, I don't see any solution in the near future. As far as the situation is concerned at the present, uh, since the since meeting took place between two states of Assam and Meghalaya, um, sorry Nagaland, there have been uh, status quo maintaining have been there in the place of those dispute areas. So also in Mizoram. So uh, these border issues between states in northeast are not a uh, few ages old, but of few decades old issue. So definitely to sort out and to make it for once on for all to go away will definitely take a very strong decision in a very uh, few more years.
Okay, coming. We ha now we have a senior journalist Vikas Singh from Guwahati. So we have him on the phone. Let's talk to him about this issue. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I'm hearing you. Yes, sir. Can you uh, tell us about you know today that the both the CMs of the Meghalaya and the Sam are meeting the uh, Union Minister Home Minister uh, Amitsha. So, what do you think would be the outcome after the meeting? See. The fact that uh, there has been several rounds of meeting and that too in a quick succession. And, uh, you know, uh, there has been uh, a continuous uh, movement uh, in the process. Uh, also speaks of the fact that um, there is an intent because border issues, though northeastern states were carved out, but border issues largely remained unresolved and this is something um, that has been an irritant in the relationship of Northeast. So the intent part of is there. There, there, is, a, there is a government uh, mm, both in the center and the state uh, of the same parties and uh, of um, uh, NEDA. Uh, so uh, I don't think uh, the political will uh, is lacking. The political will is there and uh, Meghalaya is going to celebrate its, its statehood day on 21st. So, taking the whole situation together, together with some give and take, I think uh, uh, there is uh, something big in the offering. However, um, uh, we have to see that uh, there will be some give and take when, when, when uh, India and Bangladesh can resolve, resolve their uh, issues uh, uh, by giving and taking. I don't think uh, Northeastern states, especially Assam and Meghalaya, will not be able to do this. And today, today uh, one of the uh, historic uh, uh, thing is, uh, meeting is on on, on way. Okay, com coming to you, Esther. Esther, you know, uh, there have been implications about, uh, you know, the give and take. That's what they said, that it, that will, that is how it's going to be resolved. What do you, this mean by, uh, you know, give and take? So, and like this I, border dispute. yes, Lishini, like I said earlier, the six locations, the uh, the kilometers that will be divided between them would be 18.51 square kilometer for Assam and 18.29 square kilometer for Meghalaya. So, this is like a give and take formula that was settled uh, with the three committees that were formed. But then, now what is happening is many politicians and dignitaries from Assam are opposing this, saying that. Uh, it is not possible because Meghalaya, they have, I'm quoting here uh, some few politicians that Meghalaya has been encroaching Assam for many years. Now, again, I'll go back to what our colleague Pito has said that, uh, you know, the northeastern, many states have been carved out of Assam. Now, this will, this problem has always been there, like we all know, we are all aware, decades and decades. But then this give and take formula will only happen if both are equally uh, you know, get the divided land between the two states. And I feel that Assam and Meghalaya, like our senior journalist who has joined us from Gohati, has also said that it will be possible between the two states because they have come and they've made a roadmap but to, form, to make, come to an amic amicable solution. And today meeting the Home Minister Amit Shah, hopefully something should come about. And this was what Konrad Sangma of Meghalaya has also uh, you know, uh, expected that before their statehood day tomorrow, they would want a solution. Yes, coming back to you, Vikas Singh. Yes, sir. Sir, Assam has been facing, you know, this border dispute with almost all the northeastern states. What is your take on that? See, like if you go, go by the history of it, uh, with Nagaland and with Arunachal, the matter is in, in the court. With, uh, mm, no, sorry. With uh, Nagaland and with uh, Mizoram, uh, and Assam has shown that uh, with Meghalaya and Nagaland, they are going to uh, resolve it as soon as possible. We have seen some de-escalation of troops uh, with uh, Nagaland, and uh, we are also seeing uh, a very fast-paced movement uh, in Meghalaya front. So, as I told you, like since all the North Korean state were together. Uh, they were carved out uh, gradually, but boundary ha is something which nobody thought uh, of. You know, resolving it before creation of the state, it remained more of an in a hazy, hazy, hazy script. 
So now we have an overlapping, overlapping forest. We have an over, overlapping population. And, and by and large, the, the customs and traditions in the Yoruba history of the North East are together. So this really requires a very strong political will on part of the North East of the politicians to resolve it. Okay. Coming back to you, Pito. Pito, this will be the uh, last question. Uh, will there, do you think after this meeting, will there be a positive outcome of the meeting for these border disputes? See, uh, as I said, border row issue is very practical. And unless and until one of the states uh, will, will have to sacrifice their land or the other states will have to compromise some of their some of their issues and some of their uh, some, of, some of their points, unless and until that take place i don't think uh, despite of having me uh, having those uh, several rounds of meeting there have not been any uh, proper solution and today they, there will be a meeting of course however i don't see uh, more than a status quo between two states because uh, when it comes to border issue it is uh, very very practical and it's very difficult to think very difficult things to sort out so uh, of course, uh, we, are, we are very hopeful that uh, after meeting Amit Shah there in, t in Delhi today, there will be some positive concrete steps will be taken. However, to sort out the differences between states here in the Northeast, there will have to be a concrete demarcation, proper demarcation, which will definitely take a very, very long time. But as of now, uh, I think only status quo will have to be there in the place. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Pito, uh, Esther, and also Sir Vikas Singh. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was an update on uh, the border dispute between the Assam and the Meghalaya, Meghalaya and the Assam and the Meghalaya CMs meeting the Union Home Minister. That's, that's all we have for now. Stay tuned for more news with Hanbal TV.